Hey guys, this is R and J Entertainment TV. This is John, Ron. What's up? So last night uh, we stayed up from, I guess since the actual day. When did we first get on though? We, well, we first got on. I got our, I got on to do it around like ten a.m. ten o'clock, ten p.m. Yeah. And uh, I found this one Resident Evil kind of theme. I showed Ron. Then he got interested into it. Then we had a uh, we kept searching all night long for this ultimate. Umbrella Corporation style, and we've actually figured it out. It took us for like what six a.m. in the morning. Yeah, we stayed up all damn night long just figuring this shit out. We had a couple uh, snags in the way. <laughs> I lost all my sounds. Uh, Ron's uh, icons wasn't working right, and then I fixed mine, and then helped him fix his, and it was all cool. And it took a lot longer because the internet was slow. And we we were using someone else's uh, open internet, as they say. <laughs> but. Uh, this is us. This is our computers. Mine's on the left. Mine's on the right. Uh, mine has a uh, print screen. A print. My bad. Thumbprint reader. Yeah, thumbprint. Yeah, and so I could just scan mine. He can use his password. As you can see, they're, they're both different. The openings are the same, but the wallpapers are different. Yeah, I chose the T virus and yeah, for Umbrella, Umbrella Corporation. I just took took a bloody symbol that's kind of eaten up by zombies. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, they're really cool. They got really cool sound effects, like right there when I put the chip in. You know, just you know, the connection is established and disengaged. It's really cool. Um, the GUIs was kind of hard to get the the resources and everything. You have to have certain programs to work. Yeah. We'll we'll make, we'll uh, we'll include that in the description of what you need. So uh, you, you want to say anything? Not really. Just uh, it took a long time and uh, <laughs> it yeah. took forever. I guess if you're good enough, you'd probably do it by yourself, though. Well, now, well, we, we kind of uh, pretty okay. much did it ourselves, so next time we do something again, we'll know for sure what we're doing. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you were good enough, you could probably, like, actually, without using the programs, you could do us, uh, like, get into Oh, the yeah, if you wanted to fucking take forever. <laughs> I don't think I'd, I'd rather do it this way. Customize your own. <clears throat> yeah, you have to hack everything. Uh, Ron's laptop's on the right, mine's on the left. He's got a uh, satellite, Toshiba. Yeah. Anything else on it? It's an A665. S five one seventy, just, just a regular laptop, nothing fancy. And I have a uh, H book, uh, HP Pro Book six five 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 B, nothing special. It's got a little graphics card in it, but it's it's not that good. He's got an i three, I got an AMD uh, Python or two, whatever the fuck that is. And as you can see, our uh, start menus are different. There's uh, yeah. two settings for that. Actually, thing. There, there was, oh, there, there's a bunch. There was on. like four. There's like four, but the ones we liked was the uh, HUD, right? Yeah, I like, yeah, I like the. I like the one with it where it kept everything solid and not see through because it made it easier to read. He, he don't like transparent. I do. It was kind of cool. I like it, but it's harder to read. Yeah. And uh, this shit was kind of cool. It was fun. It was hard to make, but it was fun. Yeah, it's kind of and like the reactor sound right there is fucking tight. Yeah. You can't really see it because my screen is kind of like glossy, kind of, and his is like a flat. Yeah, his is like a gloss, his, his, and mine's like a matte. My, a matte his his is a, has the fingerprint protection thing. Yeah, so no one can log in unless you get my fingerprint. <laughs> mine, I could I could have done a face recognition, but it takes too long to sit yeah, there. Yeah, you, you have to sit there and you have to look and make sure everything, poop. mine's just shoot, done. And then uh, we got tore up. <laughs> and then it goes on to my 64 that I had since it, it, I got this brand new when I was when I was little, when they first came out in the 90s. Yeah, but it still it, it looks just as this it came back when you first got it. It looks clean as hell. It's still, it's still pretty. It still looks pretty new. The whole system itself is nice. It's clean. It's got a little collection still. Everything's good. And it has a switch pack. It, it, it still it can still use a little bit of paint on it, with some black on it. Yeah, but it's all it's all, everything is all good. But we just wanted to uh, let you guys know what we've been up to, because <laughs> we haven't made a video in a while. Yeah, the last one was the Borderlands one, which I was just putting on there. Yeah, you guys can check that out if you want. It's got a bunch of views already. And, uh, I put it on there because people were wondering where that stuff was. Yeah. He's got the Xbox, I don't. I got the PS3, as you guys can see. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what that, what's in that CD case, it's a bunch of hack software. <laughs> Legal purposes only. Educational purposes only. Not for intended illegal use. Just gotta say. Disclaimer. Yeah, it's a disclaimer. It's, it's for educational purposes. I don't use it to hack anything that I'm not supposed to. And these laptops are just also for... You know, educational purposes. Yeah, these, these are personal laptops. These are personal. These are for educational purposes to show you guys what you can do with your stuff. Yeah. Um, these, these are all my games I have, my little collection I got over years. Yeah. And it's kind of small, but it's, it's, Zelda. I mean, for nowadays, it's not bad. Yeah.